drawing the moment influence line for point A. Place a hinge at A. Apply a positive moment to the hinge. The wall absorbs the left bending moment. It does not affect the beam. The right moment turns bar AB clockwise. Consequently, bar BD turns counterclockwise. Bar DF cannot move since F is fixed. According to the influence line, no positive moment develops at A. And the maximum negative moment at A occurs when the load is at B. To determine the magnitude of the maximum negative moment, place the load just to the left of B and analyze the beam. In this case, the entire load is being carried by segment AB. Hence, the maximum negative moment at A has a magnitude of 400 kilonewton meters. Draw the moment influence line for point C. Place a hinge at C. Apply a positive moment to the hinge. Segment BC turns counterclockwise. Segment CD turns clockwise. AB does not move since A is fixed. And DF does not move since F is fixed. According to the diagram then, no negative moment develops at C. And maximum positive moment at C occurs when the load is at C. To calculate the magnitude of the positive moment, place the load at C and analyze the beam. Draw the free body diagram of segment BD in order to determine the shear force at B and D. Now calculate the bending moment at C. The magnitude of the moment is 100 kilonewton meters. Drawing the moment influence line for point E. Place a hinge at E. Apply a positive moment to the hinge. Segment EF wants to turn clockwise, but it cannot since F is fixed. Segment DE turns counterclockwise. This causes segment BD to turn clockwise. Since A is fixed, segment AB does not move. So according to the influence line, no positive moment develops at E. The maximum negative moment at E develops when the load is at D. To determine the magnitude of this moment, Place the load just to the right of D and analyze the beam. Here the entire load is carried by segment DF. So we can analyze this substructure to determine the magnitude of the maximum negative moment at E. This magnitude is 200 kilonewton meters.